Shining Monarchs! I am Bennett. And I'm Reed. And this is your bulletin. Are you tired of being at home? Ready for an adventure? Join the 2022 Europe trip. Exactly. Register to attend the information meeting on Wednesday 3rd. And at 6 there will be a Zoom meeting with Mrs. Goodwin. The meeting link will be in the school's Instagram. And you can email Ms. Goodwin for any questions. Are you a creative person? <laughs> Do you like solving problems? Well, if you're interested, you can join a creative problem-solving competition together. That's right. Odyssey of the Mind is still happening this year, but virtual. We are looking for individuals or teams of five to seven friends to join the fun. If you're interested, join us on February 2nd for a short Zoom meeting at 2, that's right, 2 p.m. A meeting link will be posted on the school Instagram and Facebook pages as well as emailed to the students. Yep, and registration for the next school year is upon us. Any students interested in taking advanced English? I know I was. In the fall, you need to fill up an, a Google Form application by February 12th. You can get the link from your English teacher or the school website. Also, if you are a 10th or 11th grader and you are interested in taking a college-level psychology class uh, here at UHS, <laughs> here at UHS, you also need to fill out a Google Form application by February 12th, and you can ask your English teachers for the link to the application. Well, that wraps up this week's bulletin. bulletin. Uh, uh, let's head over, over to Miranda 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 Sports. Sports. In honor of it being a year since Kobe Bryant's passing, we are doing things a bit differently this week for ESN Sports. Instead of focusing on three NFL highlights, we will be looking at three of Kobe Bryant's highlights from his NBA career. So without further ado, let's go ahead and get started. Our first highlight comes from 2009, where Kobe and the Lakers would play against the Knicks at Madison Square Garden. At halftime, Kobe would have 31 points and would end the game with a total of 61 points, ultimately leading the Lakers to a 126 to 117 victory over the Knicks. Has now scored more points than any other player. Our second highlight comes from a preseason game in 1997 where the Lakers would take on the Wizards. Kobe Bryant was only 19 at the time when he would have a crazy crossover and dunk on Ben Wallace. I said, well, hey, if you're going to stand here, I guess I'm going to make a poster child out of you. Our final highlight comes from the Western Conference Finals game played in 2000 where the Lakers would go head to head with the Trailblazers. Kobe would break Scottie Pippen's ankles and lob it up to Shaq for Shaq to dunk it sealing the win for the Lakers. Well, that's all the time that we have for this week, Monarchs. See you next week with another episode of ESN Sports. Howdy, y'all. We got four people who are going to break today, so let's just jump into it. I'm Jake Rillette, and I like to play football and lift weights in my free time. My name is Celeste, and during my free time, I like to listen to music and hang out with my friends. Um, my hair is wet because I just got out of the shower, but my name is Bella, and I like to play volleyball and hang out with my friends during my free time. My name is Jonathan Howdy, and what I like to do in my free time is, well, probably most of everybody, I like to sleep, r relax, and play video games, but I have started to get into painting again, which I did take an art class last year, which is, which was fun, 3D art, but I, I, I like to paint in my free time, and I'm currently working on this. His name is Kilo Zoldik with, he has like white hair, very pale skin that barely gets seen on the camera. But it kind of looks white, but you could, yeah, you could see it. And like purple highlights. I did the eyes, the eyes may look uneven, but eh, I'll probably fix it later. And also I just have random Pikachu, so that's nice. And that's what I like to do in my free time. Well, it was really nice meeting y'all. I hope everyone else felt the same way, and we'll get to know more of y'all in the next episode.
Hey Monarchs, so ESN asked what I do in a normal day of quarantine. Are you prepared to be underwhelmed? First thing every morning, I come out to my living room and I work out. <laughs> and then I refuse to talk to anybody until coffee. That's when I usually hear, Mommy, I'm hungry. So then I make breakfast. Now it's time to play. Then I may sit down to channel my inner 80 year old to work with yarn. Meanwhile, trying to escape the demon cat. And then, Lego. And then I hear, and then it's time for dinner. So that is my underwhelming normal day in quarantine when I'm not teaching. Welcome to a new segment called Questions of the Week, where every other week we'll be asking students questions and seeing what they think. Check out what we have this week. I think that a straw has two holes because even though a straw is one long continuous hole, it still has two sides to it. So that means that a straw has two holes. Hi, my name is Holly Hunter and personally, I thought two at first, one, two, but I think it's one continuous hole. I believe a straw has one hole because it starts from the top and goes to the bottom as like one continuous hole. I think a straw only has one hole because it's continuous, but it has two openings. So only one hole. A straw has one hole because it's like just all one hole. You know what I mean? like. You know what I mean? Water is wet. No, water is not wet. It's what it's touching is wet. Duh. I believe that water is wet because it is a liquid. In my opinion, I think water is wet because, I mean, it's not dry. I think water by itself isn't wet, but it can make other things around it wet. So it makes things wet, but by itself, it's not wet. Water is not wet. And I don't know how to explain it, but it's not wet. Thank you guys for watching and we'll see you next time. Hi guys, welcome to 30 Second Art. I'm Sebastian, we're here with- I'm Sarah Baker. And they're gonna be competing against each other. Let's go inside. All right, you guys are gonna draw the monarch mascot, the lion. Starting in three, two, one. Oh, oh Sarah's is looking huge. <laughs> McKenna. Um, and how much time do you have? <laughs> <laughs> Alright, done. Alright. In three, you guys are gonna oh. show your your art. Three, two, Rough. one. Hey, <laughs> <laughs> you can't see it. Alright, we'll, we'll all right, guys, that's the end of this week's 30 Second Art. Let us know whose art was better, McKenna's or Sierra's. Well, that wraps up this week's ESN. And as always, stay classy, monarchs. Right. <laughs>